All right, so I wanted to do something different. I wanted to talk about my new portable rig. And um, as you can see, these two items on table are ticket. So the iPhone 15 is just outstanding and amazing. Let me say that off the jump. And you can use external hard drives. So this is a four terabyte external hard drive with SD, you can see micro SD, SD, plus you have headphone on it, a USB-C, and two 3.0 USB ports. This is the one that connects. It goes right into the iPad and the iPad can power it. Now there are power options available, which is on that other side over there for USB-C if you wanna power it, where you could use this kind of a brick or whatever if you want, or you could just have this to charge your phone, um, which is kind of cool because I could plug that just into this side if I needed the extra battery um, for the road but the iPhone works really good. It has such good power, the option. So it's really not needed, but just an added bonus to your uh, portable rig. So why do I say portable rig? Well, obviously you can use Koala, you can use AUM, you can use all those apps that are available on the iPhone, right, <clears throat> with these items. So if you had a MIDI controller, a small one, 25 key or whatever you wanted to take with you, you could plug that into here and use the MIDI controller via plug-in if you don't have Bluetooth, right, capability. Some MIDI controllers don't have it. So this makes it really easy. Plus you get a gain a headphone. Not that this is the best headphone, it really isn't. But um, you could even plug into here with an Apple headphone with the USB-C on it. So you get a better quality sound doing that versus using this headphone, because this headphone is kind of cheap if I'm being blatantly honest. But what's cool about this also is that when you plug in, you have the storage of four terabytes. So why buy the biggest iPhone, right? Because now we have the ability to use hard drives. So I'll reach in here as I reach across. This is a one terabyte sand disk, super small. Here I'll put my, my hands are fat. I mean, that'll be the best. This battery is kind of small, look at this. So it's like that big. So you could just, if you didn't have all this big uh, casing with the ports, but you wanted to still be able to store stuff, you could just grab one of these guys and they're pretty cheap. This is a one terabyte. When I say cheap, it's about a hundred, probably about a hundred bucks, somewhere around there. Maybe 129, but I'm just, I don't know at this very moment I'm filming because I bought mine a little while ago. So I've had it for a while. But what, what I'm saying is this is really cool. This is turning off our iPhone into a, a simple device. Now, if you have an iPad and you got the 256, you know you already have the USB-C and the ability to pour, plug in. So this still would be a great option if you didn't have the money to go get the biggest iPad uh, with the space wise. Um, so just a lot of cool options that you can use. And I think this makes, makes portability as far as recording really nice. I primarily use this with my MacBook. You've seen me uh, do stuff in Ableton. That's what I'm using is this guy here. I do not use the headphones on it. I prefer the headphones out on the actual MacBook if I'm gonna use headphones like that, or I will use uh, the C the Centrix Mixer Face, which sounds really good, and I can record in with my guitar using that. So these are just some options for you, um, just something that I'm doing, just showing you. Uh, if you wanna know where these are, hit me up in the comments section, um, and I will, tell you exactly what these are now this one i find hard to find lately <clears throat> it's one of the smallest batteries you can you got usb c on one side usb i'm sorry usb b on one a on one side that's the regular one a and then usb c on that side so i can't i got them off amazon can't find them right now but i'm sure they're there here's the name of the brand if you want to look for it Osking, so you can look them up they were not too too expensive at all this guy is still available you have to buy an ssd card which goes into this little slot here um it's probably i think for the four terabytes right now and this device because device is usually on sale about 80 this is probably like 89 dollars for this case right here and then the ssd i think was about 225 bucks for four terabytes so you don't have to have four terabytes that's just what i got um so you're talking about maybe 300 350 bucks total right out the door but it's amazing because it works really really good and there's a lot of space plus you have all the ports you add to whatever device you're using with it all right 
my favorite things. I hope you like it. Maybe if, if you don't, no worries. But uh, just something that I'm thinking about using more for the portability part. All right, I'm out.